After 25 years of marriage, news of the split between California's power couple Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver took many by surprise, but they're not the first dynamic duo to be undone by one partner's indiscretion. From Hollywood all the way to the White House, we've seen marriage between two titans fail time and time again. Has us wondering, is there such a thing as wedded bliss for power couples? They're the high-profile power pairs who epitomise success. But when two strong-willed singles say, I do, they don't necessarily honour and obey. Before she married the Terminator, Maria Shriver was one of the most powerful women in television. Hailing from the Kennedy clan, Shriver forged a successful career in journalism as anchor for some of the most respected news broadcasters in the US. The American women still have a shot to make the medal round, but it won't be easy. But but in 2004, after husband Arnold Schwarzenegger took office as governor of California, Shriver asked to be relieved of her duties at NBC, concerned she could no longer remain an impartial reporter. And while she gave up her career, Schwarzenegger wasn't giving up anything, this week admitting to having a secret child with one of his multiple mistresses. Between 1993 and 2001, Bill Clinton was considered the most powerful man in the world. And with legal eagle Hillary Rodham as his wife, the president and first lady looked as if they could take on anything. But it was what Clinton took off which was the problem. And in 1998, the Lewinsky scandal rocked his marriage. I misled people, including even my wife. I deeply regret that. The Trumps were the ultimate 80s power couple. Born in communist Czechoslovakia, ambitious Ivana made it all the way to the Big Apple as a top model and elite skier before marrying the Donald and becoming a power broker within the Trump organization. What I build is successful. I mean, it's always successful. I make it successful. But the property tycoon was unfaithful and they divorced. His strong-willed ex-wife, famous for declaring, don't get mad, get everything. And they're not alone. Hollywood has seen its share of splits among the entertainment industry's elite. From the shock breakup of red carpet royalty Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston after four and a half years of marriage, to Susan Sarandon and Tim Robbins, who notched up 23 years together before the A-list actress and her movie making man called it quits. Okay, so why does it go so, so wrong? What's the secret to a successful marriage between two successful people? Well, joining us live now from LA is human behaviour and relationships expert Patrick Wannis. Patrick, good morning to you. Now, you say that when men get into this position of power, they think the rules just don't apply to them anymore. How does that impact on relationships? Well, I think it's best summed up by President Bill Clinton, who finally, when he talked about cheating, said... I did something for the worst possible reason just because I could. So the point there, Larry and Kylie, is when you're with someone who says, I'm entitled, I can do what I want, I won't get caught, I'm invincible. There, there's no way that you can have a healthy, meaningful relationship that grows or evolves. Sure. So that's from the man's perspective. But you generally think there are more pressures and challenges for power couples. Why is that? Well, because they face, four ch I mean, they face all the challenges that you and I face, but then there's four others. The first thing is that there's competition between them because they're both a power couple. The second is they could be spending a lot of time apart. If one's on a movie set, someone else is either at home or, or he or she is on another movie set. So they spend a lot of time apart, a lot of time travelling. The third thing is the constant temptation. What I mean by that is being invited to parties, being invited to special events. Sometimes you're with your partner, sometimes you're not. Then you also have the aphrodisiac of power. Now, what I mean by that is, for women, aphrodisiac is a huge... or power is a huge aphrodisiac. So a lot of women tend to throw themselves at yeah. these men in power. The fourth point is what power does to you. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. When you're in a position of power, you feel you're invincible, you feel you're entitled, you, you start to become narcissistic. OK. Let me ask you this. Infidelity seems to be a bit of a recurring theme in many celeb splits. Do they have greater temptations? I think you, you know, just talking about that, you touched on that a little bit. Or just different ones to the rest of us? Or are they just in the spotlight and we know about it? Actually, you're right, Larry, it's all three. First, they have different temptation, they have greater temptation, and then we get to see not only what the temptation is, but what are the results of giving into that temptation. You have to understand that if you're a rock star, an athlete, 
a politician, an actor, an actress, a musician, you have people throwing themselves at you. You get invited to major parties. So you always have greater access to cheat. You have greater temptation. And lots of people just saying, hey, I'm willing, I'm, I'm there. Mm. I want to be part of it. How can two strong personalities therefore make it work? I think the best way to answer that question is to look at Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Two very strong people who could be competing with each other, but they work together on certain projects. So they take on charity projects and they work together. Having said that, you have to decide in your own life which area will you be the boss and which area will I be the boss. Because when you have two powerful personalities, they tend to, want to, they tend to both want to be the boss. So delineate and say, this is your area, this is my area. Then you allow each person to sort of have their own kingdom. Mm. All right, Patrick, thank you very much. Good to catch up. Thank you.